Hi friends, how's it going? And welcome to my tutorial video. Recently, I received this new breastplate from Epic Armory. This is the ready for battle steel breastplate that they have. I really liked it, but the only problem that I found with it, it was, it was quite long on me and I wanted it to sit up higher to be more of a, a half chest armor. So that way it kind of sat at my hips and was just a bit more comfortable for me. I made a couple of adjustments and I filmed the whole process to show you guys. It used to look a bit like this. And now it looks like this. So basically all I did was I used my Dremel to cut the neckline deeper so that way I could take the whole breastplate and just move it up a bit. I'm really happy with how it looks. I'll run you guys through how I did everything and I hope you find this tutorial useful. Oh, I also want to note you are cutting metal and so this is a little bit dangerous. So make sure that you take all the safety precautions necessary so you do not hurt yourself. Start by marking where you will be cutting. I use some paper to evenly mark each side. Now to set up your Dremel, I've also attached the guard. Each rotary tool is a little bit different, but all follow a very similar setup. You pull this part down, slide the disc on, rotate it and lock it into place. Please don't forget to wear your safety gear. Cutting will be loud and there are definitely going to be sparks, so make sure you do this outside where there is nothing flammable around and use earphones if necessary. I've strapped my ready for battle breastplate to a crate to brace and support it while I cut. Now I'm going to file the sharp edges of the metal. Originally I was going to fold the metal over, but when I realized that I didn't have the, the tools necessary to do this, I decided to change it. I'm going to cover it with some soft leather. Here I am bending the breastplate with my hands just to make it fit me a little bit better. Now I've started the pattern making process for the soft leather, just using tape and a marker to mark exactly the size that I want. Tracing it onto a bit of foam to make sure that it fits the way I want it to with some extra seam allowance so we can wrap around the middle. Using these clips, I've test fitted the leather piece onto the breastplate and marked where it reaches onto the breastplate so that way I know where to glue. It's important to sand and file this part down so that way there's more for the glue to grip onto. Here's some extra details that I added to my leather piece, including this little metal stud. Now I'm using contact adhesive glue to attach the leather to the metal breastplate. The way contact adhesive glue works is by adding a thin layer to both sides. So you add a little bit to the leather and a little bit to the metal. Then you wait for it to dry a little bit until it's tacky to touch, usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Once the glue is ready to go, very carefully attach the leather to the metal. Once you put these two pieces together, they're not going to come apart again, so make sure you're really careful and work slowly. I started from the centre and moved my way out. Even though it wasn't necessary, I used these clips to add a little bit of extra support as I worked. Take your time wrapping this part around. Alright, nearly with the finished piece, all that's left is to dye the leather. Okay, so that's the end of my tutorial. I hope you all found that very useful and if you had any more questions, feel free to send me a message and I'll answer them the best that I can. Thank you very much again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye friends! I had the thong. <laughs>